Hello folks, Ben Tana Hills here again. I've reviewed a lot of things that were really hard for me to watch, but nothing was as big of an insult to me as the Looney Tunes show. I know I've badmouthed this show so many times in the past, but that's only because of how much it personally hurts me. So, I'm going to give a thorough explanation as to why I believe that this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. For starters, I'm a huge fan of Looney Tunes, as you all are aware of. They are one of a kind cartoons that can't be matched or topped. So, I was always worried about how modern updates to them would be done. I don't even like the idea of updating Looney Tunes because they're timeless. They don't at all feel like they were made several years ago, with the exception of the World War II cartoons. So, when I saw that Cartoon Network was going to make a new Looney Tunes series, I was kind of excited at first because it showed promise, but my expectations were soon crushed, and my first viewing of the show almost made me lose faith in the animation industry. How could someone screw up the most well-known cartoon character so much? It was too hard to believe that this show was proof that it actually happened. Where this show fails is that it ignores the traits of the characters. The show portrays Bugs Bunny as an average Joe who has bad luck. Well, if the crew of the show would actually watch a Bugs Bunny cartoon, they would see that he's supposed to be a wise guy who's able to outsmart opposers who interfere with him. He's supposed to represent the guy who we want to be, not who we are. Then, they screw up my favorite character, Daffy, turning him into a brain-dead moron. Again, in the original shorts, he wasn't stupid, he just made common mistakes that we all make. A lot of his plans are actually clever but they just have loopholes that his enemies are able to spot and take advantage of. While I prefer the crazy Daffy from the 30s to the early 50s, the egotistical Daffy is insane in his own little way, which I am entertained by. I would go into how I believe they ruined all the other characters, but I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. However, I will say that this show also seems to ignore the fact that while Bugs and Daffy are the most popular Looney Tunes characters, the shorts weren't all about them. So, it's kind of frustrating seeing them being the center of all the plots. The original Looney Tunes shorts made sure to have variety by featuring a wide range of characters, so not seeing a lot of them in this show is kind of boring as a Looney Tunes fan. The next big problem with this show is it domesticated the Looney Tunes characters. Again, looking back at the original shorts, a lot of the stories were built around the Looney Tunes characters being wild animals defending themselves from aggressors, so the charm of that is lost by making them appear as humans who just happen to look like animals. Also, this sitcom format is another aspect that kills this show. Seeing as how the original Looney Tunes are 7 minute shorts, the stories were fast paced and the gags came quickly, which heightened their comedic impact. However, since this show is a 22 minute episodic format, it has to stretch the stories out and the gags take their sweet time showing up. This makes the episodes boring to sit through, as they lose the zany style of the original shorts. And another thing that this show lacks is the use of orchestrations. Now, the shorts were called Looney Tunes for a reason. They relied as much on music as they did on the animation. The music helped set the wacky tone of the shorts, and it helped increase the impact of the gags. With this show lacking music, it contributes to the overall dull tone of it. Then, there's Lola. To be honest, I never was a fan of this character, even before the show premiered. However, this show changed her from a forgettable character to one that is hard to forget due to how annoying she is. I've heard so many people praise how Lola now has a personality, and how she's the favorite character of a lot of people. Well, all I see is just another dumb blind character that we've seen in everything else. She's just Luann Platter wearing a bunny costume. Most of her jokes are from her being stupid, and that's it. Doesn't Daffy already fill that void in this show? Also, it's really frustrating to me seeing that Warner Brothers is trying to claim that she's an official Looney Tunes character. She's not. I don't care how much they try to convince me, Lola is not a Looney Tunes character. She wasn't created by any of the boys from Termite Terrace, so she's not a Looney Tunes character. It would be like saying that Slappy Squirrel or Freakazoid are Looney Tunes characters. So, Lola is just another reason why this show was a chore for me to sit through. Finally, the main thing that makes this show dead upon viewing, the style of humor. The humor of the original Looney Tunes was mostly slapstick, but it also relied a lot on wild takes and exaggerated characterizations. Due to this show being an average animated sitcom, it mostly relies on dialogue humor, and not kind that I think works well for being something Looney Tunes related. 
Most of the humor comes from the character saying something idiotic, followed by a short pause to give the audience time to laugh. Just because something is awkward doesn't mean it's funny, and Looney Tunes was never awkward. Now, I'd like to address those who might say that I'm letting my nostalgia get the best of me, and that I should accept the changes being made to something that I've been watching since I was unable to walk. If this show is claiming to be Looney Tunes, then that's exactly what it should be. It can't just make changes to something as universally known as Looney Tunes just like that. That is insulting to both fans and the creators of the original shorts. If the Looney Tunes had to be updated now, then how come they weren't updated when I was a kid? When I was watching these shows as a lad, I never once thought, you know what, this should be like an awkward version of Seinfeld. I was too busy enjoying how wonderfully made the cartoons were, and I loved watching them get better as I aged. In fact, when I did further my research on the cartoons as I got older, I was shocked to find out that the cartoons were made over 50 years ago. There's a reason why the Looney Tunes have lasted in everybody's memories as long as they have because they are legendary pieces of filmmaking that appeal just as much to adults as they do to children. Those who watched them as kids years ago are now adults showing them to their kids nowadays. This show would have been better off not being created at all, because Looney Tunes are just fine the way they are. Animators should come up with their own ideas rather than trying to make effortless reimaginings of already established cartoons. All this show is is a basic sitcom that just happens to be animated, rarely resembling what it claims to be. It takes both the Looney and Toons out of the Looney Tunes. When I complain about this show, it's not my inner five-year-old crying a river. It's my adult mind speaking out. The original Looney Tunes cartoons have made me who I am today, and to see them ruined in such a way is unbearable. They are more than just cartoons that I watch to laugh at. They are pieces of filmmaking that I'm inspired by, and have influenced me to take my life in the direction that I'm taking it. The characters are more than just drawings on paper. They're family. And there's one thing I was taught growing up, and that's nobody disrespects family. So, there are my thoughts as to why I believe The LinkedIn Show is the worst thing I've ever seen. If you like it, good for you. Just do me a favor and try to explain to me why you enjoy it, so maybe I can get a better understanding. As for me, I see it as a make money fast scheme by Warner Brothers that almost ruined the Looney Tunes forever, and I'll always see it as a complete insult to characters and shorts that I love so much. I'm Ben Tannehill, see you later.